What's going on guys and welcome to your first tutorial on CSS. Now instead of talking about CSS for half an hour not really getting anywhere let me just show you a quick example what you can do by learning just a little bit of CSS. So let's say that you know HTML and you wanted to create a website and you created this uh, really I mean good website I mean you added the uh, unordered list you create it as a link, you actually added a picture, you, there's a paragraph over here, a heading, a input text, and the buttons. And you really worked your heart out, however, I mean, it's probably not going to help him with the ladies, right? Because the traffic to this website in this day and age is probably going to be, well, if not zero, then negative for sure. So, what we can do is just by learning a little bit of CSS and implementing this website, we can actually get more traffic for him. Now, I'm not saying that he's going to be more successful with the ladies, but at least he's, he, the traffic to his website is going to improve significantly. So let's close this out. And now you can see, I went really dumb and wild with the colors. So, uh, because just to show you what, what options you would have, and in real life, you probably, this, this website is not much, much better than the previous one. However, you can see what just a little basic CSS and, and guys, you'll learn that this is pretty much basics, what, what it can do, how much more better your website is going to look just by implementing a little bit of it. And now you can see that there's an opacity as I'm hovering over, there's actually, you know, it, it changes. You can see that over here, as I'm going over the links, the background color is changing. It's the same over here. The form looks much more nicer. I mean, the countries he still picked, Russia, Uzbekistan, and USA. I mean, I guess that's where he gets, he wants those ladies to be from. And you can oversee, you can see over here how easy it is to add in nice icons right next to your buttons if you want. And again, this is really basic. So if you want to make your websites look much more better, it, you need to learn CSS. Now, what CSS stands for? It's cascading style sheets. And again, in a basic text, what it means is that it basically it's responsible for design of your web page without changing the elements. You can see those are the same elements that we had in the first website. However, what we did is we added some style to it. Now, if you really wanted to go wild, I'm going to close this out and you can start rotating your elements and you can start uh, 3D uh, changes. So, but that's for uh, further lessons and, and, and you'll get there. I, I have no doubt about it. So let's, let's go back to the text editor and just let's learn the most important thing about CSS. So now that we are in our text editor and before you click away from this video, let, you, let me just show you the most important thing that you would lead, need to learn about CSS. The same how we learned about uh, HTML, that the most important part about HTML was tags. All you needed to know was tags. However, about CSS, the most important thing is what you need to know that you will going to be creating a selector, that you'll be selecting a element, then you'll be selecting a property, and then you're going to be changing that property value. So the way you add the CSS to your uh, website, you'd within the head tags over here, you would have to nest style tags. And you just write over here style. And I'm going to close it out over here. And now whatever we're going to write in between the style tags is going to be styling our website. So like I said, we have right now, we, you can see over here, you have three, uh, three elements, right? So if I would want it to change the appearance of H1, I would have to write H1 selector. And the way you write a selector, you just write here. In this case, we're just going to write H1. So now I'm telling the browser, listen, I'm selecting H1 and I want to change something about it because it knows that it's in between the style tags. Now, now we create a curly braces and I'm going to start new line just so it's so we can see it much better. And what I would need to write right now is the property that I would want to change. And I'm going to go really basic. I'm just going to write background color. Now, if you have the same text editor as I have, which is brackets, which is actually I would suggest if you're just starting out, 
uh, to to get hold of brackets because they're really good for somebody who's sh just starting out and want, wants to do the web development. And what I really liked about brackets is that it, you see that it's giving me suggestions. So I don't have to just guess as soon as I start writing, it, gi it gives me the hints of what property I would want to change. So I click over here, the background color. This is the property that I want to change. And right away it tells me what colors do I want to choose. So again, I'm just in this case, I'm just going to go with this one and I'm just going to put a semicolon. So the syntax for changing the background, well, sorry, the syntax for changing the property would be, you would have to write a property name over here, then you would put a colon, and then you would have to write what property, what value of that property you would want. And then you would end over here with a semicolon. And you can add as many uh, properties as you want over here. Just remember to put a semicolon in between over here. And I'm going to start a new line because it just uh, it's much more easier for us to see. So let's say if I wanted to change the uh, something else like font size, right? I would write over here font size and I would say that I want it to be 50 pixels, right? So again, I'm selecting a property and I'm changing the value of that property. And again, I'm putting colon and I'm putting semicolon. So, uh, and also the last thing you need to remember that style tags need to be within the head element. You cannot put it within the body because you're actually, you're not adding the tags, you're actually styling your tags. So I'm gonna save this over here. I'm gonna show you where I've saved the file so you can do the same thing. And you can see over here that I have the CSS and this is my CSA, CSS HTML, okay? But I already opened in a browser, so I'm just gonna scroll back to the browser. I'm gonna close this nice picture, and you can see the hello world, and this is our file. However, I haven't uh, refreshed it, because once we save the file, nothing has happened because we haven't refreshed it. So let me click refresh, and you can right away see that I changed the background color, and I changed the actual font size. And you can see how easy it is. And it's the same works with all the properties. You're basically, all you're doing is selecting an element and I want to change this property, that property, and I want to change this value or that value. So like I said, the same as HTML, there's one basic principle and you just need to follow it. Uh, this is going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video.